Outside my window comes the sounds of hail hitting the ground. The terrorists, known as the Al-Shabaab, are at practice again. I hope. If not, we will have a long night in our moldy, musty closet we use as a shelter because it has no windows and a bulletproof door. My name is Amber O'Farra. I am 13. I am named after the gemstone Amber because my mother's favorite color is red. I come from a family of three siblings. My younger sister is four. She is so kind and free-spirited, therefore my mom named her Hani, which means happiness. I have a seven-year-old brother named Komar, and my oldest and favorite sibling is Gidi. He's 15. My mom's name is Amina, and my father's name is Asad. My father owns a textile shop in the city of Magadishu, leaving my family not wealthy and not poor. My brother also helps out at the shop, but sometimes is usually too lazy for that. We live in a nice apartment in the city of Magadishu, the capital of Somalia. My grandpa Omar lives in the country, and we call his house home because we used to live there. He lives in a traditional house to live in in Somalia, which is a cylindrical hut with a conical thatched roof. Another traditional housing development is a rectangular hut with an angular roof made of metal or straw. My father is one of 49.7% of men that have been educated in Somalia. My mother is also one of the 25.8% of women who have been educated in Somalia. Today marks the three year anniversary of the death of my grandmother. She died at age 55. I know for some countries that might seem young, but in Somalia, 55% of people live up to the age of 57. She had seven kids and two died when they weren't even one yet. The infant mortality rate is 74 deaths per 1,000 live births with an average mortality rate of 10.5 deaths per 1,000 people. The average number of kids a woman has in Somalia is six. The Somalia fertility rate is 5.98% and a birth rate of 5.98%. The rate of natural increase is 30.91 persons per 1,000 of the people. A historical site to see is the Magadishu Cathedral, which was sadly on the 3rd of 1933 was bombed by the terrorist group Al-Shabaab. The Magadishu Cathedral is where the Roman Catholics used to pray. My religion is the Sunni Muslim. More than 99% of the population is Sunni Muslim and the Islamic religion is runner-up. Another place I love going to is the Jazeera Beach in Magadishu, Somalia. When there is beauty somewhere, there are problems in other areas. When people look at my country, they see war and bombed out buildings. The most important issues to cover in my country are terrorism and starvation. Somalia is constantly being controlled by clan-based armed groups, Islamic extremists, regional proxy wars, terrorists pledging alliance to the Al-Qaeda, pirates, kidnappings, and famine. With all this war and terrorism, this leads to having 5.7 million people with food insecurity every night and day and 2.7 million people not meeting daily food requirements. I am lucky because my father makes decent money to keep us healthy and housed. My favorite food to eat is sambosa. This is a Somali version of the Indian samosa and it's spiced with hot pepper and filled with minced meat or fish. My mom and I went shopping today to find clothes for my rapidly growing siblings and me. I got this new mint green bati, which is a cotton dress with short sleeves and a pink shawl to cover my face. For my brothers, my mom got them blue ma oes, which is a cloth that is wrapped around their body. They only wear these to the mosque. When they are not wearing ma oes, they wear jeans and a cotton t-shirt. My country has faced many challenges we have yet to overcome. I want my family in the future to not live in fear of running out of money, including me living in fear of my children getting taken off the streets and recruited for a terrorist group pledging alliance to the Al-Qaeda, as my uncle had when I was five. Somalia is not the only country struggling. Africa is the poorest and least developed country in the world. Fixing this can and will start with one person, and that person is me.